Hello everyone and welcome to the Game Shed with me, Jamie. Today I'm looking at a classic, classic game on a very old and probably underrated system. The Amstrad CPC 464 and the game is Bomb Jack, a game I played plenty of. I probably played this for four years straight. It had a very long lifespan. So I'm not playing it on an original... Um, I'm not playing it on an original CBC 464, quite simply because I left my CPC 464 in my loft in my mother's house and she sold that house with my beloved CPC 464 still in the loft. Now, not only was that up there, but there was also a hamster cage. So whoever bought that property, you have got yourself a very very classic system you just need to get up into the loft so i am going to start by selecting j what i'm playing it on today is the dreamcast and it's a lovely emulator um it really does the trick very well so this is a very classic game and what you've got to do quite simply is you've got to stop bombs blowing up famous tourist sites and the tourist site in question here ah, is the uh, famous Egyptian pyramids. Now it doesn't matter if you get the lit bombs first or you get them last or you get non-lit bombs. It really doesn't matter. But um, the more lit bombs you get, the higher your bonuses are. Now this is a score based game. The objective is to obviously outdo your friends uh, with the biggest score. Twin Galaxies website has got the record score registered on it, which was done on uh, MAME emulation. I'm not sure what that score is. There's no way on earth I am going to do that score or get even near it because I haven't got the time or the patience, nor am I actually that bothered. I play this game because I love it. So I believe I'm in Greece right now, and this B is a bonus, so that should increase my score nicely. Um, I'm just going to try and get as many lit bombs as I can. doesn't matter if you don't get all the um, bombs in the right order. Um, all you're doing is affecting your score at the end of the day. They're not going to explode. You do not need to fear. The longer you leave it to get all the bombs, though, unfortunately, the faster the enemy becomes and the harder it is to complete the levels which you don't want because you do want to complete this as quick as possible really so it's a fine balance between speed and skill uh, so I'm on the third level I'm not sure entirely what this tourist attraction is I certainly have never been here uh, some Bavarian castle by the looks of things now if you do get the lit bombs reasonably quickly um, you will get your bonuses quicker that's how the scoring is done oh that was very close so I think those black ones are actually lock on targeted um, UFOs of some description I want to get that E I think that was an extra life very useful jump over now for me oh Jesus for me personally this CPC 464 version is one of the more superior versions of bomb jack now I would say that I am biased but that's only because I own this system and I'm sure spectrum owners believe their port is the best and I'm sure um, NES version owners think their version is the best etc I'm sure it's not actually the best or critically acclaimed to be the best but it is the version I enjoy playing the most so this is getting all a bit too hectic only got one more to get score multiplier or bonus and there you go now what is this tourist attraction I'm not too sure it looks like somewhere I would visit for sure let me try it. You can reach the top once. I believe you've got to do a bit of a diagonal jump though to get up to the top. Let's kill all these baddies. Give 
give me a bit more free time. There we go. Oh, Jesus. Died. Two more lives. Classic, classic game. If you haven't played it, do pick up a copy. Uh, this version is from 1986. I was five years old. I didn't probably start playing this until I was about seven, I don't think. And I definitely, definitely played it up until um, I was 11 very regularly. Um, those old games you would make last, or at least your parents would make you make them. Uh, oh, Jesus. Your parents would make you uh, get the most out of your money because they wouldn't buy you a bloody game. Oh, my God, it's all going wrong. How am I going to get this? Right, I see a gap. Do it. Yay, he's got it. Right, back to the pyramids. Now, these levels all do repeat themselves, but um, each time... The layout is a little bit different so you can see here I've got platforms it makes it a little bit more challenging to get everything in the correct order come on you can do it yep this is good this is very good uh oh lots and lots of robots ah if you hold the jump button after you've jumped, you do possess the ability to float. That is one of his many characteristics. It looks like a very limited game, but it's not. So, bonus 50,000 points. Well done. You've got 23 lit bombs. That's quite good. Um, I believe in every stage there are 25 bombs. I can't count them at the moment because I am trying to get as many lip bombs as possible. Actually, I've changed my mind. Too hard. Giving up. Right. Up we go. Come on, Mr. Jack. So he's a very recognizable character. Um, you may have played a version of Bomb Jack on the uh, Nintendo's Virtual Console, because it's available on there. Uh, there's many, many ports available and um, several follow-up versions of Bomb Jack uh, as well. But number one for me is the winner. There we go. So I'm pretty much going to leave it there uh, at the end of this level. You've seen pretty much the entire game. It's just going to get harder and harder and harder. And I will get more and more pissed off and end up killing somebody. So until the next time, see you later.